Hey everybody, welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and we are going back to the 90s once again, and back to one of my favorite bands, U2, and one of their biggest hits coming out of the 90s. The song is called One, and it comes off the 1991 Achtung Baby album, which was just a terrific CD, a terrific record. Whatever format you have it on, it's awesome. One of my favorite U2 albums, in fact, one of my favorite albums of all time. So it's a pretty easy song, basically some nice acoustic chords and a little lead lick that I can show you that's pretty simple. So I'll show you all of that in this tutorial. But first, before we get to that lesson, if you're new here, thanks very much for checking us out once again. But don't forget to hit that little red subscriber button on the way out. Also, leave us a like. It really helps to continue uh, growing this channel into the future. Same story if you are a returning subscriber. Thanks very much for coming back once again. We hope you're really enjoying this channel. Don't forget, leave us a like if you like this video down below. Also, maybe you want to check out our Patreon and Amazon links down below as well. Some exciting things happening on our Patreon site these days, including exclusive one-on-one -on -one lessons and live mandolin sessions every month. So check that out. But now, without further waiting, without further ado, let's have a look at this U2 classic called One for Mandolin here on RPM. Okay, taking a look at One by U2, this is a really great song, a really fun song to play on the mandolin, and fairly simple, just a couple of simple parts uh, and some open chords that you can get on the mandolin. However, if you are new to the mando, the strumming pattern might be a little bit difficult for you. Um, having said that, though, this is a great song for helping you develop your strumming technique, so practice along with it, start slowly, and you will get it, and before long, you'll be really strumming these chords uh, really, really well. So let's take a look at it. What are the opening chords? Well, it starts off with this little lick. Okay, so what is that? Well, it starts off with an A minor chord, and I'm doing that A minor voicing here, the fifth fret of the G string, second fret of the D, and open A and E, right? Your A minor voicing here. And I'm starting off with that little, little hammer-on lick that goes. See what I did there? I just hammered on from the open G to the second fret to that fifth fret there. So like that. So the strumming pattern is pretty basic. It's just... Right, so what am I doing there? Well, that's just a down, down, and then a da up, down, up, down, up, like this. You see that? So down, down, like that. All right, and the next chord is a D right here. Um, and I'm playing the D down here at the second fret of the G and the second fret of the E and these strings open. I'm playing that chord for this song because I think, again, it sounds the most authentic to this track. I mean, you could play that D there or you could play that D there. Um, I find this one sounds the most authentic. So once again, from the A minor. And I'm giving it a little bit of a pause there, a little ghost note in the middle there. Did you catch that? So, like when I'm doing the up, down, up, down, I'm kind of briefly muting the strings there. So, like that, so. You see how I did that, a brief pause in there? That's where the strumming pattern gets a little tricky and you gotta practice it. So, practice it like that. Next, we shift from the D to an unusual chord here, a bit of an unusual chord. This is an F major seven, F major seven chord. So, all right, so normally when you play an F chord, you're here on the fifth fret of the G, third fret of the uh, D string, open A and first fret of the E, right? That's your standard F chord. But for this song, you're gonna just play an F major seven chord like that. So you're just taking this finger off and you're playing that open E string. Can you hear the difference? All right, that's an F major seven chord. So we're at the fifth fret of the G and the third fret of the D, and these two strings are open here. So from the D, you see what I did there? And I'm actually grabbing it with my 
first finger here and second finger here, okay? So that's how I'm grabbing this F major seven chord like that. Okay, so let's do it again from the A minor. D, F major seven. Now just do a G chord. And same thing, you can even just play the D chord without utilizing that E string. It actually, to me, sounds a bit better. So just play that note there, second fret of the A string, and then these two strings open. That just gives you a G voicing down here. So one more time, the whole verse pattern. Same thing, that strumming pattern all the way through those chords, okay? So A minor to D, F major seven, and then G chord. Those are the chords for the verses. Okay, moving on to the chords for the chorus parts of this song. Well, it's almost the same, except you're just adding a C chord now. One day, one life, one night is in the night, right, like that. So you're just playing a C chord to the A minor, and then F major 7 again, back to the C. So I'm playing the C chord here, just your standard C, cowboy C if you want. Second fret of the D string, third fret of the A, and the G open, right? So, one D. That's a A minor chord there, and then your F major 7 again, as I showed you before, and back to the C. Those are the chords for the choruses of the song. So I'll show you. Let's do the verses into the chorus now. So verses. Right? A minor, D, F major seven, down to the G, now the chorus. Major seven, C. Repeat, C, A minor, F major seven, C. And that's it. That's basically most of the song for this U2 classic. So there's another part in the song that's a bridge part that's similar to the chorus, uh, but what they do is they just go C to A minor, C to A minor for a few bars, and then they go to a G, all right? So they're going Ask me to move before you write that part. So that's C to A minor three times, and then G, and stay on the G, and then to the F major seven, and then back into the chorus again. Okay, so that bridge part one more time. Ask me to enter. You see me. I don't know what the lyrics are. So C to A minor. Ask me to enter. And then you see me cry. G. And then F major seven. And then to the C. That's a bridge part, all right? So it's C to A minor, C to A minor, C to A minor, and then a G, and hold the G for a couple of extra bars, then the F major seven, and back to the C. Okay, there's one other little part in the song. It's a little lead guitar solo, but it's really easy. Um, it's just a few notes, but it sounds really great played over those chorus chords as they fade out the song, right? So your chords are C to A minor to F major seven once again, back to C. So over that, the edge is doing... Right, he's just doing that little repeating motif all throughout that section. So it's really cool, except it comes in kind of on an offbeat here. So you're going... You see, I'm, I'm kind of leaving a rest. I'm going rest, rest, So you're coming in just a little bit later on that. And by the way, on the mandolin, if you want to do that as kind of a double stop, 
you can do that with this open E string. So what are those notes there? Well, here the seventh fret of the A string, down to the fifth fret, down to the third, back to the fifth, back to the seventh. That's the first part of this lick. And if you want to drone that open E, you can go. So you're just going. And then on the very last time you go. So that's seven, eight, seven, five. Just the last part of that motif every time. So I actually don't do it with the droning E string, but you can if you want, so. And then just end on that C, C note. Okay, so one more time, that's seven, five, three, five, seven, five, three, five, seven, five, three, five, seven, eight, seven, five. All right, and that's the little lead guitar lick near the end of the song. And you know, if you have a reverb pedal, crank up that reverb or a delay pedal even, crank up that delay to get that edge sound and it'll really sound great playing that mandolin part over the chords. Maybe you have a, a friend who can play the acoustic guitar part for you over the chords or uh, with the chords. So play that little lead part, it'll sound terrific. Okay, that is One by U2, a very simple song for you to get, but the strumming might be a little tricky for beginners. Work on it. It'll really help you to improve your right hand strumming technique or your left hand strumming technique if you are a lefty mandolin player. My name is Mike Dijon. Thanks very much for tuning into this tutorial once again. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new here, don't forget to leave us a like and hit that little red subscriber button. If you are a returning subscriber, likewise, please give us a like and check out our Patreon and Amazon links down below. Thanks very much for tuning in to another video here on RPM. Thank you.